Hello, we hope you are having a great day. In this video, I will show you how to restore previous version of a file in SharePoint Online. For this option to work, you need to first enable versioning for your document library. You can do that by going to your library settings. I have already enabled versioning in my document library and I have different versions of a document ready to show you how to pick and restore the document into an older version. As usual, I'm in my SharePoint start page and I'm going to pick the site marketing updates. The marketing updates site is actually very popular these days as uh, I'm using this site for most of my tutorial videos. So that's good. And from this video, I will show you how to restore document versions. So uh, let me take you to my document library first and show you some of the files here. So there are different folders and documents over here. So I will be demonstrating this uh, option uh, with one of my files called um, board meeting. So this uh, gives you a better idea about how this option can be used. So let me just open this file first and show you how it is now. So this is a document and yeah, there are, uh, this is actually a promotional content we created some for some of my, some of our products. So this is the content here. So I, I just need to revert some of the changes which are made to this document. So let me just show you how to do that. First, I will show you how to uh, revert a version or restore a previous version. And then I will show you how to enable the versioning and other options you have. So for that, all you need is to click on the ellipsis here, right in the document. And first you need to check out this document. Once this document is uh, checked out, it will show you this uh, red icon over here. Now the document is ready for the changes. At this point, you can click on the ellipsis and choose option version history. So it will take you to a new window. This window shows you all the available versions for this document. All you need is to pick the desired uh, version of the document. I will just uh, go with the version, uh, version four. So all you need is to click in this date and click on restore. You will get a notification that says you are about to replace the current version with the selected version. Click on OK. And the restoration is done. Now you can go back to the document library and click on the ellipsis again and check in the document back. You can also end a comment about this change or restoration of the document to let others understand why, why you made the change or what are the major changes you just made. I just entered a comment and click, I'm clicking on check in. So the document is ready for others to access. And let me show you how the document looks now. So this is a previous version of the document. Uh, it's just the keywords now here, all the content that is removed. You can also uh, get back the document if you wish by doing the same by choosing a uh, decide option. So let me show you how to enable versioning for a document before attempting to restore a document. So for that, you just need to enter your document library, click on the settings icon at the top and choose library settings. From the library settings option, settings page, click on versioning settings. Here, 
you will get to configure all options regarding the version history. This is the main, main option you need to uh, enable, create a version each time you edit a file in this document library. So this is the option I have chosen. And you can also choose other options to require checkout. Uh, this is also an important option to avoid conflicts. When this option is enabled, whenever someone uh, opens the document to edit, they will have to check out the file. So this helps uh, them to ensure that uh, no one else is accessing the document at the same time. And after making all the changes, you can click OK. The versioning settings option will now be enabled for this document library right away. So that's how you can make use of the versioning option. Hope you find this video helpful in restoring documents to previous versions in SharePoint. See you with another useful SharePoint tutorial video soon. Have a good day.